Hey guys, what's up? It's Patrick here, bringing you guys episode number 26 of my Let's Play Clash of Clans series. So looking at my base, Mortar is maxed out for Town Hall 6, Wizard Towers are maxed, Archer Towers are maxed, Cannons are maxed, pretty much all of my defenses are maxed except for the air defense. So yeah, we're definitely going to be moving up to Town Hall 7 really, really soon. And uh, let's go ahead and finish up our last defense, which is the air defense to level 4. So air defense is really going to help out at Town Hall 7 and it's going to make me happy that I spent all that time upgrading it. For the other upgrades today, we're going to clean up some of these buildings around our base like the storages and maybe if we save up enough, enough elixir we can upgrade our barracks the thing is we unlock the healer and uh, while the healer might be sort of useless it's actually really fun to use for giant healer strategy so i'll teach you guys that once i hit town all seven and uh yeah let's do some raids try to get a solid amount of resources and see what we can upgrade towards the end probably would like to upgrade a couple of my walls i'm going to try to get my walls to level six before we hit town all seven and uh, let's go ahead and start by attacking bantop so strange base design he has his town hall and storages protected by a lot of walls which is obviously good but he has his most important defenses on the outside so gonna go ahead and attack the mortar in the wizard tower and even though the mortar hasn't been taken care of yet the way that i'm spreading out my barbarians it's only going to shoot one or two of those guys at a time so i should be fine so the wizard tower is going down the mortar is going down and then once those two are down since he's only a town hall five he has no more splash defense and i can pretty much spam the rest of my troops and get ready to attack him from the top hand side all right, so splash damages are down. That last mortar, or the first and only mortar just went down. And now taking a look at what else he has around his base. He doesn't have any builder huts. He doesn't have any defenses hiding. So I'm just going to go ahead and let my troops run through. And then as soon as they get close to the base, I'm going to drop my wall breakers and make my way inside. So they're doing a good job right now, taking care of that air defense. Goblins are making their way to the storages. Going to go ahead and drop those two wall breakers to make a breakthrough right there. And then now I can just drop the rest of my infantry and try to destroy the defenses. So I definitely want to keep climbing up in trophies. I'm doing a good job right now, but I'm going to drop these archers on this archer tower to help out just a bit. And seeing as they can only destroy one troop at a time, since it's just cannon and archer towers left, we're going to be able to destroy this guy and get three stars on his base. So pretty solid raid. Uh, the way that it was laid out, definitely interesting to say the least for a town hall five he actually had some really good upgrades all his walls were level five he could have upgraded his cannons and stuff a little bit more but definitely needed to redesign his base and because of the fact that he threw his most important stuff on the outside we were able to get a three star against his base so pretty solid let's check out the resources we got and uh, make our way to the next base today so for trophies we ended up getting 16 which isn't super but for gold we got 89,000 elixir 132,000 and for the bonus of being in silver too we got 600 or 6,000 in resources man i wish we got 600,000 in resources uh, but let's move on to the next raid all right, so this guy here, definitely more difficult of a base. He has his splash damage on the inside, besides that one mortar on the left, as well as he has 223,000 gold and 112,000 elixir. So I'm just going to go ahead and focus on the mines and pumps for this raid. I know that his gold storages do have a pretty good amount of gold inside of them, but it just depends how much there really is. So I'll try to destroy the gold storages. I won't focus too much on the elixir. And let's go ahead and attack this guy and see what we can do. So for the first time in a long time, this guy actually has clan castle troops. I don't remember the last time in a Let's Play video that I've attacked someone with clan castle troops down here at like 800 900 trophies so it's sort of funny to see that so i ended up dropping my lightning spell because i didn't want my troops to get distracted and then attacking through this first compartment i'm going to go ahead and attack gold storage number one so like i said pretty good amount of gold inside of that gold storage and as i drop my stuff i'm going to steal a lot of that same thing on this top side over here and looking at what troops i have left i really don't have a lot of goblins i have one giant i have a few wall breakers so i'm going to go ahead and break through right there and then unfortunately, as I dropped my wall breakers, I think they got shot down by the power of the wizard tower and I wasn't able to break inside of the base. So at this point, sort of just scrounging around to see what I can get. There are some level 10 gold mines on the outside. And to be honest, I probably should have taken care of those before I did much else. And I'm just going to go ahead and steal a couple thousand more gold and that will wrap it up for this raid. So not a bad raid. We're at 48% and looking at where we are, actually, I do want to try to get 50%. And as I was looking around this base... I saw the town hall on the bottom and I couldn't believe it. I just didn't notice that the town hall wasn't there. And as you guys can see, I already dropped all of my troops. So I wasn't able to get that free town hall. And since I am really focused on trying to keep my trophies, I ended up having to waste a lightning spell on this gold mine. And uh, that was definitely my biggest fail so far this series. I don't know how I did not notice that town hall, but because of that, that cost me a lightning spell and some trophies. And uh, yeah. 
pretty good amount of resources. Ended up stealing 200,000 even though we didn't get all of it. And uh, let's go ahead and try not to forget to search for the town hall on raid number three. And this one's a lot easier to spot because the town hall's in the center. As well as this guy has over 350,000 resources. And most of it's going to be in the mines and pumps. So let's go ahead and go corner by corner and try to get all the resources in this guy's base. So even though his base looks pretty easy, it's going to be really important that we don't waste our troops on a certain side. We need to be able to attack every single corner because the resources are on every single side of the base. So starting off, I took care of that mortar. I'm also going to take care of this wizard tower right here. Just trying to get rid of those splash damage buildings, not focused on too much else. And then after that, I'm going to attack from the right or bottom right and the left and let's see if we can steal what this guy's got. So barbarians are going in, I'm destroying the defenses on the outside, and as I'm attacking, I sort of notice that this guy doesn't have a lot of defenses towards the inside of his base. He has cannons and archer towers on the outside, and I already destroyed the mortars that are on the outside. There's really only one wizard tower that's sort of tucked away, and uh, in the beginning, I was really just going for the resources, but at this point, I definitely can see how I can get three stars against this base. So destroying all the defenses, the only thing he has left is that cannon right there and that wizard tower, and I should be good to go, and as I drop these goblins, they'll break through the wall and they should destroy the gold storage and mines and then after that they'll turn around and probably smack that cannon in the face if there are no more resources left so this looks like it's going to be a pretty good raid honestly i didn't think i was going to get three stars but again as you raid you sort of have to adapt to what you see and then when i noticed that most of his defenses were on the outside that's when i really started to use my barbarians and archers to take those out and because of that i was able to get a pretty simple three star and get another 16 trophies for this base so today was sort of weird i didn't get a lot of bases that i had a lot of trophies available like this one had 16 the other one had 14 or something like that I don't think any of them had more than 20 so uh, a little bit of struggle as far as trophies go but resource wise I definitely can't complain and let's go ahead and check out what we got so in total, 174,000 gold, 182,000 elixir, 16 trophies, another 6,000 in a bonus. And let's go ahead and head back to base, do some upgrades, and wrap it up for this video. So three builders are already working right now. And like I said, we have a couple of different options on what we want to upgrade. Nothing is really too important right now. The reason I haven't upgraded my clan castle is because it's in, not in the center of my base. And obviously, I'm not in a clan. So I'm going to upgrade the clan castle in the next video. But for today, let's go ahead and finish off that elixir storage up to level 10. So extra gold, I'm going to spend that on upgrading some walls. I'll go ahead and continue to upgrade those throughout the next couple of videos. And then finally with my elixir, judging on what I want to upgrade, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade our barracks so we can get that healer and test out some giant healer strategies. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed episode 26 of this Let's Play Clash of Clans series. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video to show some love as well as subscribe if you have not already. And yeah, that's it. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.